So this piece of equipment today that is the most overrated sits in my shed for probably 12 months out of the year. It's been, in, it's been sitting in my shed now for a couple months now since it's been last used and yeah, it's the most overrated piece of equipment for lawn care. Let me show you. Peat moss spreader. In my opinion, it's the most overrated piece of equipment, especially for a DIY or homeowner out there. Now I've done a ton of content on this and I'm just gonna go over some of my thoughts about why this is probably the most overrated piece. Uh, so hear me out. So I have done a full review of the Lanzi in the past. I actually did a comparison video this past fall between the Lanzi and the Easy Do and the Lanzi by far is made a lot better than the Easy Do. So go check out that video. But like I said, this thing sits in my shed 12 months out of the year. I only use it for probably a day or two days at most uh, when I do a top dressing of peat moss. And if you go check out this video, I'm gonna leave a link below why I'm never gonna use peat moss again in my lawn. Um, I really killed myself this last fall doing my overseed. Uh, that peat moss just held too much moisture. I was overwatering, and I'm definitely not gonna be using peat moss again if I ever do uh, overseed again. I'm just gonna let it, let the, make sure I get good seed to soil contact, keep it watered, keep it moist, and just let it grow on its own. So go check out that video. I hope it helps somebody else out there because it really taught me a lesson this past fall. And another thing, the price point with these peat moss spreaders, I mean, $230 for a peat moss spreader is, you know, it's not a small chunk of change, guys. $230 is a decent amount of money for something that you're obviously only gonna be using maybe once or twice a year. You know, like I said, mine has been sitting in my shed for a couple months now. Before that, before the fall overseed, it was sitting in there for 12 months. A long time to be sitting in the shed and just not doing anything so what I would do is is I would invest that money back into something else maybe a piece of equipment that you're gonna be using more than once a year a lawnmower a blower a string trimmer you know something like that because um, honestly the peat moss spreader I mean we see that content out there I know I put out content in my past about the peat moss spreader and it looks like a great piece of equipment and don't get me wrong it is but if we're only having to use it maybe once or twice a year, put that money back in somewhere else. In my opinion, what I would do is, is I would actually just go to Home Depot, rent a lawn roller. That's what I did this past fall. It was only $15 for four hour rental. Can't beat that. You fill it up with water, you roll that seed into your lawn and just let it have good seed to soil contact and you're gonna get good results. And you don't need a peat moss every year. You really don't want to. Again, the peat moss is not going to break down. I would get something like a compost, something that's actually going to break down over time. The peat moss, it's gonna eventually maybe give you problems if it doesn't break down. So again, get a compost, something like that. But if you're gonna use that spreader for a compost, it gets heavy, guys. When you put a compost in a peat moss spreader like that, even at, even at that size, it's only 24 inches. Imagine having a 60 inch wide one with compost in it. It's not gonna be that easy to push. You're gonna have to tow it somehow, even with sand leveling. Sand leveling, it's gonna be hard to push. I honestly, I would just recommend you get a Gorilla cart, fill it up with compost or sand, just do your sand leveling, sling it out into your yard and get a sand, get a uh, lawn level and level your lawn that way. That is going to take you for, especially if you only have a 24 inch model, it's going to take you forever to spread it out. You're just, it's going to be just as easy to fling it out and level it just with a level rake. If you do want to purchase a compost spreader, a, a peat moss spreader, I think the Lansy is a great model. It has held up for the last two years for me really nicely can't i don't have any complaints about the build quality on it as as far as using it yet nothing has broken down on me so that's great so i would recommend if you are looking for one i think this would be a great model for you again go check out that easy do lansy comparison video i'll leave that link down below go check that out if you are looking for you know one of these compost peat moss spreaders so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be putting this bad boy back in my shed I don't know the next time I'm gonna be using it. Cause like I said, I'm not using peat moss anymore in my yard. So it's gonna take a little nap. I don't know how long though, might be a while. We'll see. I don't know if I'm ever gonna use this, but again, but so far, like I said, 
it's done its job it's done its damage i should say too but again most overrated lawn care piece of equipment out there is a peat moss compost spreader if you found today's video helpful make sure you smash that like button it really does help out with the channel if you're interested in any of my other content i'm available on instagram i'm available on tiktok go check me out there and like always guys i'll see you in the next one go birds uh science is, science is going to fix this later in the season we're going to talk about that in a future video